Former Chief Operating Officer of RADA, Dr. Salia Vikramasurya, who was arrested by the Police Special Investigations Unit, was remanded until the 19th of this month after he was produced before the Fort Magistrates Court today. The Police Investigations Unit arrested Dr. Salia Vikramasurya over alleged financial fraud. The Reconstruction and Development Agency, or RADA, was established to coordinate the operations of the various institutions engaged in post-tsunami reconstruction work. It is alleged that the financial fraud had taken place while Dr. Vikramasurya was serving as the COO of RADA. Dr. Salia Vikramasurya, who is an expert in oil and gas exploration, had arrived in the country to share his experiences in the development drive after serving abroad for over two decades. Uh, this is unprecedented. Now, Dr. Salia Vikramasurya is an example of crossing certain red lines which are necessary for stability in any society and any democratic system. Uh, he is an academic, uh, and I might say a credentialed academic. He's uh, somebody uh, who has published uh, overseas. He's known as a, a specialist in his field. And this uh, spate of arrest of opposition parliamentarians uh, is uh, destabilizing when that is extended to include respected se uh, senior civil servants such as Lalit Vidatunga is even worse. And now, when an expatriate academic such as Dr. Salih Vikramasurya, a, a, a published author and specialist, is arrested, it's really very distressing indeed, and very dangerous, I might add, uh, to uh, the stability of, uh, of the system. It's absolutely amazing that uh, the chief operating officer of RADA, Dr. Salih Vikramasurya, has been arrested and is now behind bars, whereas the governor of the central bank, who has admitted to a wrongdoing, has now decided on his own, clearly, or on the advice of his minister, who also happens to be the prime minister, has now gone back and returned to work, despite the fact that his passport is being impounded and is the subject of an ongoing investigation. This is clearly a lopsided version of events. Uh, Mr. Mahendran is spending his time traipsing around the countryside, uh, attending book fairs and at work for the central bank, when he clearly should remain suspended, investigated, and sent home after a suitable period of incarceration. And that would be justice. 